we need to hear about this. The first black coach, football coach, at an all-white school. <laughs> when you hear what his wife says about him, when you read some of the clippings from the yearbooks, from the, from the schools that he, that he taught at and coached at, and how much they admired him, not just as a football coach, but just him himself. When I was about 16 years old, I was a running back at Hillsborough High School. He came over from Blake High School, and he became one of the first black coaches at Hillsborough, and he was my running back coach. Not only was he a coach, but he was a teacher, he was my mentor, and he was like my father. 95% of the people that come here, they have no idea who he is, none. I am glad for that opportunity to expose that to a lot of people that walk by here and see that and somehow that will help them. He made me the man I am today. He taught me uh, to be humble and kind. And uh, you don't have to cheat or lie to get there. What a great coach he was, what a great teacher he was, and how he mentored so many individuals and made a difference in so many lives. And that's how the legacy goes on. People will learn a lot from it. This part to become more of a community, you know, something like this, people can stop by and hang around and just enjoy it. I was looking at him at this wall and I said, somebody ought to write on this wall that you will never be forgotten.